Guess I'm a Stellaris YouTuber now. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stellaris, the 4 times grand strategy game where genocide is actually chosen over refugees. After the raging success of the last video, and this guy asking me very politely to do more Stellaris, I decided to do another video. However, I have something to confess to all of you. To those of you who thought I was new to this game, I'm sorry, but I have a little over 100 hours in this game. Alright, well, with all of that out of the way, it's time to prove myself. The empire I designed for this video is called the Chris Light Empire, a species of Chris's gifted with something they called the Light. They were determined to spread it to the other planets of the universe. I went with another hive mind, however they are not a devouring swarm and are life seeded instead, meaning that only on planets with the Light do they gain benefits. In the beginning, I immediately began to take advantage of the comments section from the last video. I figured I should get leaders with fast surveying slash anomaly research speed. These would be used to expand my empire as fast as I could. After exploring for a quick few minutes, I realized the advantage I had. Look at these, look at these systems, mm, glorious, look at them. So many choke points. I love that. Perfect, perfect, wonderful. I spent some more time fleshing out the Empire, I met some hostile neighbors, and then I kept expanding. I would need the resources acquired here to gain a leg up over the competition if the light is going to be gifted to the others. System survey complete. Colonization in progress. Shit, fuck two is loaded. Colony established. An alien empire has established communications. Anomaly found.
construction complete. System survey complete. I establish colonies on uninhabited worlds. Fuck too. Forgiveness and wrath. Words named after great sins and saintly actions. And I would have to take it upon myself to sin. And to join in war. Construction complete. My neighbors weren't very appreciative of the fact that I had stolen from them a valuable resource in the form of a primitive civilization. In response, they had entered into a unique kind of agreement with me, the kind where they declare war on me and then I say, sure buddy, and I proceed to kick their asses from one side of the galaxy to the next. Having all these star bases upgraded gave me a real step ahead, thanks to all the people who commented recommending I upgrade star bases. Special project complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Hostile fleet detected. Holy shit! That was their entire fleet! That was their entire fleet that we just took just then. I'm freaking blown away. Research complete. After unfortunately losing territory to our vile and disgusting lesser neighbors, I took this opportunity to play the slow part of the game, the economic simulator. For the next 200 years, which is two hours in real life, 
I spent that time growing my empire in research and economics and fleet, preparing for whatever conflicts may befall me. This is when I took advantage of the more bureaucratic side of being a non-devouring swarm hive mind and made some friends. My allies ended up going to war and as a result of the defense contract I was enlisted to support them. But the war was so far away from me that I could not participate without wasting a lot of time and resources. As time went on and the years flew by in seconds, the minds of the Chrises and of myself began to grow weary. We watched people grow old and die with our collective minds. We all wondered if we could do better for the universe, better for our allies. If only they could accept our light. They wouldn't do this willingly. We did what we had to. In an effort to ease the boredom of the slow crawl that is the Stellaris mid-game, I figured I should start a war with someone, a war that I thought would be easy to win. So I declared war on my neighbors to the north, the United Bilnock Alliance, BNA for short. Foolish and without foresight as I was, this empire was a part of a series of vassalized empires that would enter into a defensive war with over half the galaxy. At the start, I had the upper hand, as the initial fleets of the UBA were short-handed to say the least. However, when the rest of the fleets arrived, I knew I was fucked. I attempted to surrender and realized the true level of deep shit I was in. I would be forced to be subjugated under the holy Zygmach polity if I lost this war. There was one thing I'd never be, it would be religious. So I did my best to hold the line, applying battle strategy and guerrilla warfare tactics to fight. This war of subjugation went on for a millennia, the back and forth conflicts. This war went on for so long, the top mind drone of the Chris's conceptualized an idea of a weapon so deadly, so heinous, it strikes fear into the galaxy. With the technology and the resources available to the Chris's now, what once was just science fiction, now is reality. We had begun research on the planet Cracker. Once the research was done, so too was the war with the final major battle taking place in Atlas, a nearby ma mining system. It was a meaningless fight, with the men tired from war and the ships creaking with space barnacles and rusted out missiles. 
They fought till their last breath against the waves of foes. This is where I would have ended the video. Having lost two wars, I just about had it. I almost quit and never came back to the game. I spent days pondering my return. The game was technically unfinished, I hadn't died yet. I felt bad about never finishing where the last empire ended. When I looked at the comment section of the last video and saw all the people working to help me get better, I was inspired to continue, to keep fighting. But truly isn't over until you're dead. Now we surrender. The worst possible outcome. Listen, look what we saved. Look what we saved by choosing to become a vassal. Transmission. Look at what we gained, though. Incoming transmission. We're in breach of galactic law. I care not. I care not about the galactic law. Purge. Research oh, wait, we purged. Sure. Incoming transmission. Having. Oh my god, so many species. I surrendered to a lesser species. Species without the gift of the light. Species who destroy the gift when they get the chance. The Chrises grew sick, unwell, disdainful. Everywhere they walked, they saw the holy Zikmok polity in their propaganda. They drove them to the edge. The military complex failing, and the Chris is on the end of the rope. They drove all their forces, all their might, toward one collective goal. Ever since the beginning, I've, I, I've, I've despised the Isma Collective. I'm lagging really hard right now. I've despised the Isma Consensus. I want to take my vengeance the only way I know how. I'm thinking of just going and just cracking as many planets as I can before I get annihilated. Research complete. Oh, I never followed Galactic Law in the first place. Go to hell. I think I give a damn. <laughs> He's an auto build, so he's just automatically building it. Right on to the next one. Crack it. Non stop. Keep going. All the way to Overprinda. We're, we're getting them. We are crushing him. Bye bye. Alright. We're gonna have some trouble on our hands. Go to Orprinda. That is our goal. This used to be a primitive world. Now it's our. Now, now it's nothing. It will be nothing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly by them and go deeper into their territories, taking out more and more. I give no dams. I give no dams at this point. They don't have a planet cracker. I do. I will crack all of their planets at this rate. Right. No one cares. They think they think I'm a subject of this much larger empire. So they hate the larger empire. I am breaking so many. I'm I'm the war criminal here. 
I am a working club. I am in reach of every galactic law, and I do not care. The Chrysis and I, driven insane by our 400 year voyages under the stars, is the least successful empire in the galaxy. We only had one single thing we held on to. The memory of a time long ago when an observation post was wrongfully stolen from us. It was long before the consequences of my actions caught up to me, resulting in a very quick loss of the war for me. My empire was shattered. I wasn't done yet, however. The fire that burns inside me still wanted more. I hungered for their capital. I ate the galactic envoys. There was never enough food to satisfy us. We sent our women and children to a galactic safe house where no soul could harm them, and we charged, flying our ships into the deep, murky black of the void that is space. about to do some crazy fucking shit right there, but. Check it out. Technically, I'm the largest empire in the game. 